Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Live. So this is gonna be the golf cart mobile part two. If you know around here, this golf cart is going in a trailer I built that's gonna haul the golf cart, a suburban, and a rock crawler behind the motorhome that I built. I call a buddy of mine, a company that does sandblasting industrially. They like work on oil tanks and you know whatnot. We use them in the oil field. And I called him, I was like, hey, will you come sandblast a golf cart for me? He's like, a golf cart? And I, I don't even think they usually do cars and stuff like that. But anyway, he's like, uh, I guess. Anyway, he come over here, did it real cheap, did me a really good job, and sandblasted that thing. And that's where we're at today. This thing looks really good in comparison to what I had originally thought. Uh, all the corrosion, I don't know why, but there's sort of a line here. All the corrosion is just about this much of the bottom. Uh, there's no holes in the frame. There's no really deep pinning. I think I'm going to lay a piece of strap in the frame here, kind of gust it just a little bit, weld all this out real good. I think we'll be good to go. Anyway, about the only thing I've got to build, uh, this piece of angle iron's got to come out. This piece here was broke off, sort of the battery trays. The frame is not going to be that big a deal. I'd like to not bore you uh, with, uh, you know, watch me with a welding helmet on. I'll probably catch a few shots, but I'm going to try to get some of this stuff braced up, get the battery box sort of built, and uh, and then we'll go from there. As far as the sheet metal body goes, <clears throat> I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here, but I'm thinking I'd like to get the frame all done and, and epoxied and, and get it where it's finished, if you would. Uh, we can get the motor rebuilt, get the axles and stuff under it, and, and put the batteries and electrical stuff in it and have a viable golf cart. Then as far as the sheet metal goes, if I want to take this thing and use it somewhere, all that stuff just screws on. We need to screw the body panels on it and go use it. But anyway, I have rattled long enough. Let's uh, let's do something. Oh, by the way, my hair. You'll probably notice my hair. Um, <laughs> this is just a harassment of my mother. We had a family get-together the other day. Uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, today Sunday, and uh, and I I had my sisters come over. We we put my hair you know, my hair's longer than it's ever been, put it in little ponytails, and uh, and dyed the ends of it. And I went I went to our family get together <laughs> with green hair, which is not like me and not like my family. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it just was quite shocking. My mother wasn't very happy. Anyway, that's what the deal is with the hair. I got to go get a haircut. And I imagine it'll probably all get cut off when I go get a haircut sometime this week. Anyway, let's do something. All right, so welcome back. This is Saturday. I guess I'm not in the screen there. Um, got my hair cut off, by the way. <laughs> so I spent uh, a few nights this week working on this thing. I got this mostly done. Uh, I ran out of steel. I had to go to Lowe's of all places to get one more little piece of inch and a quarter uh, angle iron. But anyway, uh, hope you can see I got this piece replaced. There's the, there's the old one. It done. Uh, this piece of angle iron added onto uh, this piece. This piece of angle iron runs across the front. You got this welded down. This piece, this piece. Got a big, uh, big gusset here where this hole was in the frame. Uh, kind of welded everything out real good to the frame. Anyway, I think I'm gonna time lapse you. I gotta finish making this other battery box. I got just a couple pieces left to do. So by the way, if you notice, it looks like all the new pieces I put in are sandblasted, and that's because they are. I've got a blast cabinet right back there. I'm gonna go make this piece sandblasted. And make it look something more like that. I think, I don't know if this really helps or not, but I figured knocking the mill scale off cannot hurt, make the epoxy stick to it a little bit better.
you ever have one of those projects to where you know it's something you're pretty good at you know like I can build things pretty well one of those projects that just absolutely looks like dog crap I don't know what the deal is but I'm a decent welder but this looks absolutely horrible I got stuff crooked I don't know whatever I didn't I gotta say I didn't start out to build a show car to this thing I just wanted a viable golf cart mobile I could ride around on the beach or around at the uh, around at a campsite or something and I'll end up with that it's just uh, looks like a three-year-old put it together All right, I believe this thing, as far as this goes, is uh, ready for paint. I'm gonna drag it over here, and there's several other pieces I wanna paint at the same time, so I'm gonna need a little bit of work. I'll catch you here in a little while when we kinda get that straightened out. All right, so I got it all over here, at least the first round of this, uh, ready to go. The first thing I've got to do is get this stuff clean. Uh, in this bottle is a grease and wax solvent. I'm gonna spray everything down, kinda incrementally, uh, squirt this on it, let it sort of dissolve the grease that's on there, whatever fingerprints, oils off your skin, and then wipe it down. Uh, the same way with this stuff over here. I'm gonna get a, a two good heavy coats on everything I can see from the bottom, uh, and then I'll flip everything upside down and, and get a, one good coat, and I think I'm gonna screw down, uh, there's several body panels here, floor and stuff, and then I'll spray the top all again uh, with those screwed out so I get the screw heads and everything at that point we'll be ready for the Raptor liner on the actual uh, the frame part uh, we got to do the motor and the rear end and uh, hopefully we'll have this thing rolling maybe not this week but hopefully before, before too long so I guess I got this stuff ready to shoot I got a $20 Harbor Freight spray gun, whatever these cost, with no regulator. I do have an air dryer and I got a big compressor, uh, but I just, just got the little knob on it. I'm just going to jack with it until it's where I think it needs to be. Um, I'm going to shoot Transstar. It's, a, it's an O'Reilly's house brand, uh, two-part epoxy primer. It's black. This is going to be my primer, my sealer, my top coat. Uh, everything uh, it works pretty good it'll come out kind of a flat black that looks pretty uniform I like it actually better than flat black paint uh, and it seals real good it sticks real good it just works well uh, you got to remember I think I kind of said I'm not building a show car I just want something to last a long time and that's what this will do I'm gonna get suited up and uh, and let's knock this out I might show a little bit of this if it starts getting foggy I'm gonna put you back in the office because I don't want to get my camera too uh, too oversprayed. This is a this is a two-part epoxy, and I've already mixed it up uh, in the office. It's ready to go. You got to mix it. There's not much to it other than one-to-one, -one, but you do have to mix it. And I'm fixing to make a mess. came out better than expected.
so I got two coats shot on everything. It's been a couple hours. It's it's pretty well dry to the touch. It's maybe a little bit sticky in a few places. So I flipped all of this stuff over um, or up or you know whatever. I'm gonna reshoot that and then I'm gonna take some Raptor liner. So I'm gonna take some Raptor liner and I've got the little spray gun. This is just a bottle that's got a catalyst you put in it, stir it up, stick it on the gun, you're ready to go. The bottom of this doesn't look good. You, my wells look terrible. Uh, there's BBs and stuff all over it. And what I'll be able to do with this, if I kind of dust all the bottom of this, uh, it'll both give us a, a really rough um, abrasive resistance coating. It'll work good for the bottom of it. Uh, and it'll hide, it'll make it look a lot better. I guess I'll just let the camera run. You can watch me do it, we'll get a time lapse. I'm gonna suit up, uh, spray this stuff right here real quick. And then, and then shoot this. I don't know if you can tell. Hang on. I don't know if you can tell how horrible this looks, but there's a big fat run right here. And there's like dingleberries and dirt and dust all in it. I'm going to show you how much better this is going to make it look. Sorry, I gotta have my respirator on. It's still too rough to, to breathe. I wanted to show you how good this looks. You know, my welds on here looked terrible. And there was little BBs on everything. It looked really rough. You put a cut on that on something, you know, that's like an underside of something, and it makes it look like you spent a ton of time and smoothed it and everything is nice and ground and finished. Um, it just makes it look really nice. Even this piece of metal here I scabbed on, you know, it just makes everything blend together. I won't let this dry. I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, next day, I got it flipped over. Uh, I'm fixing to shoot the primer on this on the top side uh, and then kind of go back over and touch up this stuff. I didn't, there were several spots I kind of missed. I went over some of this with some sandpaper. Anyway, uh, this is got, this is a floor. It's got a bunch of pits in it. It looks pretty bad. I was kind of up in the air about whether or not to try to reuse it. And uh, I'm going to reuse it. So I'm going to shoot some epoxy on it, let it dry. And then we're going to put some Bondo on it. Uh, probably just get after it my big DA, my electric one. And, uh, and knock all the Bondo back off. And then it ought to be flat enough that you, when you put the wrapper liner on it, it'll look good. I'm going to shoot this and I'll catch you this evening when it's dry. So anyway, this is the floorboard. Um, this would be like driver's feet, passenger feet. This would be like the back of the seat or the front of the seat. Anyway, this is really rough. I contemplated building a new one, having one cut out. I decided to go ahead and reuse it just to save money. Um, it does not have to be perfect. This is not like a body panel or a, you know, a fender on a car. But I do want to fill in these big deep pits uh, just so you won't be able to see them from the Raptor liner. Um, this is going to be rough and fast, but that's what we're going to do. So this is regular Bondo. Just go mix it on the panel here. It's about three quarters of the material there. Hopefully, I can get this mixed up before it sets up. So I'm just going to start working this into all these hips that are all over this thing. Just use a spatula to pull it extra off. Well, that's already setting up. It's pretty hot today. Get you some 
some dirt and mud mixed in with it. Alright, and that right there is exactly what I wanted. Something like that. This thing's got a pretty big dent here and I didn't notice it until just now. It needs a little percussive persuadence. I'm not going to say that looks better, but it doesn't look any worse. Next step is another coat of epoxy primer, so I get the, uh, the floor coated real good, and then go ahead and get another, another squirt around the whole thing. I'm going to let it set up, I'm going to shoot some Raptor liner on it, and uh, you'll get to see somewhere in the middle of all that. All right, so that's been there an hour. It's pretty well, uh, pretty well set up, ready for the wrap liner. I'm gonna make some wrap liner up, give this thing a good squirt. I've ran some uh, of these stainless screws in. I think this is going to work really nice. Um, I'm going to try to get a few more in the floor. If I can do it without uh, without messing anything up, I'm going to get the floor screwed down. So there it is, you can kind of see it. It looks pretty good. You gotta remember there's a bunch of pieces that goes on here. There's a, a, a big cowl that goes over here, and then there's a tray that goes in here somehow. I don't remember exactly. Um, but a lot of this is sort of covered up. But anyway, there's a there's a good a good view of it. I think it looks good. I think that doing the rest of it like this, I'm thinking maybe like a white stripe or a purple stripe kind of match the motorhome. I think it'll look pretty good. I think it'll work. Also got the uh, the little bracket there that the that the steering the steering box actually bolts to. Anyway, I'm kind of out of stuff to do. I'm gonna have to call this video. Uh, I got tomorrow, which is Memorial Day, to work on it as well. But I'm sort of out of. I don't have any white wrap line, or I'm just sort of at a wall here. Uh, hopefully next week I want to get um, I want to get at least the rear end done. I may not get the motor put on it, but I'm gonna get the rear end cleaned up. Uh, we'll get it painted. I'm thinking I may paint it white, uh, or I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wrap the liner in white, I should say, along with the front fork, uh, the wheels, the shaft, the steering part of the shaft that comes up for the for the steering wheel. I think I'm gonna make all that white. The seats will be white. Um, I think it'll look pretty good. Anyway, next video, I at least wanna get the uh, axle bolted on it, the tires mounted on the wheels, the wheels on it, the front fork on it, the steering column, everything on it, so this thing can roll. Um, and then I'll probably have another video with the, with the electrical, I put the batteries in it, the controller and all that kind of stuff, put the gas pedal back in it. Uh, and then hopefully like two videos, a couple of weeks, we'll actually be able to drive it 
And then it'll be done, except I'll just have to finish the body panels. And as I kind of explained, uh, I won't spray all them with epoxy primer. And if we want to use it, we can just screw them suckers on there and take it somewhere and, uh, and then do the body work on them when, when the time arises. But anyway, like I say, I'm kind of out of stuff to do. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you, catch you on the next one.